Okay, next, we'll select both of these feature lines, then right click, and we'll apply feature line names. We're going to call these feature lines ABC. Then we have a next counter. We're going to click OK. Now, if we, in the tool space, the prospector tab, go into sites, site one. If we look here, we've got a section on feature lines. There we go. We've got ABC1 and ABC2. If we want to, we can right click on this and it has its own, oh, well, we can even select it. What if we're way, let me zoom out. We're way over here for whatever reason, okay? We're way over here and we wanna, we wanna see the ABC2 feature line. Right click and hit select. Oh, there it is. I see it now. So that can be helpful when you have so many feature lines and you name them properly, that with a descriptive with a descriptive name, man, that could be really helpful. You know, because there are times where you could be have you could have like three different parking lots on this site, right? And you're you're using feature lines to to generate your parking lot. Well, which which feature line is for? Which set of feature lines are within parking lot one, right? You know, which, which feature lines are within parking lot two and so on and so forth. That's when applying a name to a descriptive name to multiple feature lines like we just did kind of kind of goes into effect because you're not having to search all, all over the, the site in order to find a particular feature line. You can just look within the name. You know, one, one set of feature lines could be uh, the, ed the edge of payment feature lines for parking lot number one or parking lot A, or parking lot, uh, or Northwest parking lot. You know, that's where naming your feature lines, you know, applying it to multiple feature lines can be very, very helpful.